is Haroja Scheib with a weekly hunt update for September 1st through the 10th. Um, recording this episode September 11th. And let's get into what's been going on with the hunt. Uh, there's really for the Soshi's treasure hunt, there hasn't really been that significant progress it's mostly been on the Tezo hunt uh there have there has been uh, some clue drops since the weekly uh hunt update um but since september 5th it's been f now six days and there's not a new clue and the Tezos hunt which was supposed to launch september 10th hasn't happened so yeah I'm not sure what we are supposed to kind of, you know, make of that. So let's get into the show and let's see what is going on with the hunt. Okay, so here we are at the Stoshi Treasure site. Let's do a quick uh, clue update. So nobody has announced that the Earth Key has been solved. Uh, the next key that's unsolved from there is the checkered board key, but we don't know if that's truly been solved since the uh, private they went public with their uh, leaving the game because of lack of proof of funds. Say they solved it, but um, you know they didn't release the key. They don't have to release the key or any hints that for people to be able to solve it, but. And that's something they don't have to do, but that key in and of itself is um, still available and hasn't been publicly announced that it has been solved. And then if we go down further, you had the Hackathon key with Cheese Wizards, which ended. I haven't seen any updates with Cheese Wizards on, you know, what went on, what went on with that Hackathon and if, about the key release. Uh, maybe there will be, be some news uh, soon that ended like September 1st this is September 11th so it's, it's been a little bit uh, let's see uh, the United key uh, no one has announced that they have solved that publicly see the same thing with the ladder key and that's it so we have the ladder key the United key and the checkerboard key and of course still the earth key are the keys that have yet to been to be solved since our last update, we've had um, the World Key Antwerp, which was a geolocation key. The clue was called Walk the Streets. You had basically had to go to this particular geolocation to find this key right here. Typically with the geolocation keys, they are like a geo sticker uh, attached to like a lamppost or a building. Some are quite hidden or tucked away a high up. Uh, it's still marked available, so uh, until somebody like within the community says they can't find it, I'm assuming that is still the case. And that was launched um, September 4th. The hidden key had some... <coughs> Uncover the dust has some Bitcoin attached to it. So the clue was uncover the dust. You're walking in the desert. The air is dry and there's no one else around. You are holding the notebook that contains all the keys you've collected so far. After you walk alone for a few hours, you come across a lump in the sand. The first hunter who unlocks the key will get a hundred dollars in BTC as the additional prize. This was solved rather quickly. Uh, this is the Bitcoin address. Um, like with a cool launch date, I, I wish they would use a different blockchain explorer than blockchain, but this is the one they have linked to. Had two transactions, 0 0.01 PTC, final balance is zero. It moved to a SegWit address, uh, September 5th, 314. Um, you can see it was uh, loaded up September 4th, 2019, somewhere in the middle of the night. And there you have it. Someone was a lucky winner of uh, some Bitcoin. Now to solve this key, I haven't had the time to look into it, but if you go to, no, no, that's not what I want to do. 
view page source and if you were to look it's enhance so you're supposed to look at these codes that are kind of hidden here in the frame these numberings which are HTML code so let's look at 8204 when we search so it's a unicode character at zero width non-joiner and it's a general punctuation you're supposed to be able from the hint that I've seen be able to go through the little codes that we were given and be able to somehow figure out the passphrase and the site that you need to go to because it's not given to us uh, within the code the decryptor page so there's that for that particular one and again that was solved rather quickly and then you have the world key which was two keys at two separate locations in Switzerland um, and you probably bump into our agents so there's a possibility they didn't give a date or time that you may be able to run into somebody that's there so that might present an opportunity to be able to acquire a business card we'll see but if from the geolocations again the QR code smacked up uh, up against some kind of sign somewhere allows for people to be able to um, obtain the key okay so the news from te the Tesla part of things is as you can see here the clue has not dropped or the Tezo mini hunt has not occurred yet if you go back to their announcement um, right here in order to make sure that that they are robust and secure as possible we're waiting to launch the main hunt until an audit has been completed. However, clans and individuals who are anxious to get started winning Tezzies can play in the Tezzle mini hunt, which has a prize at 5,000 XTZ, which is uh, equivalent of 5,000 USD, and will begin on September 10th. For more information on that, we suggest you follow our official Twitter account, watch our website, and most of all, keep an eye on transmissions from the satellites that may be zooming overhead. Um, so yeah, I, there's nothing... Twitter account. We've already been on the site. So. If you go to their main Twitter account, which you're supposed to be following and looking at, there's nothing about the Tesla launch for the mini hunt. And if you are going to track the satellites, here is a Twitter account that keeps a hold of, or should I say, relays the uh, satellite transmissions. I am not seeing anything about the hunt. So. There's that. But in some news, as far as Tezo Hunt goes, um, the Stoshi Treasure Game Makers have teamed up with um, another group of people to help with the game making. This is from Leech uh, Leia Soon or Chun. Um, Bitcoin Treasure Hunt is coming to the college campuses this fall. So Primitive Adventures, which is the company that does the Social Treasure Hunters, uh, basically what they're doing is uh, they're teaming up with Block Venture and they're going to go to 20 universities hosting educational meetups and mini hunts, mini hunts to help students join the game. Um, IDEX CEO Alex Warren told, told Coindesk the exchange will also sponsor some campus workshops focused on Bitcoin wallets and decentralized exchanges. Uh, so they're working with a network of people to basically not only spread the word, if you will, um, hit these campuses, uh, do these things, working with the Tezo Foundation, and 
also uh, they're going to work with I believe is MIT as well to help build the puzzles or clues so that's you know that's something I've been linked in the show notes to that and this is a block venture block venture coalition the largest alliance of university blockchain groups and venture capital funds so that's pretty much it I mean there hasn't been any real activity because it's just the lack of clue drops again the Tezo hunt didn't launch so it's been very quiet on the western front if you will um, as soon as the clue drops I will have another video as soon as the Tezo hunt launches I will do the initial video for that and then the whatever happens with that mini hunt I will do a response video for that um, anything significant happens I will do an update for for the viewers but for right now it's just been very quiet and it's just it's just a little strange and the fact that they missed the launch date for the Tezo mini hunt it's I don't know but we'll see we'll see what's going on and we'll see how things go so my name is Arosha Shive this is Hoshi's Treasure Hunters uh, this is your weekly update and um, good luck to, to uh, hunters on with the hunt.